about medical research at universities and hospitals, are your thoughts good or bad? Some Americans worry tax dollars are wasted. That's why a group of Vanderbilt research students are sharing why they will not give up on curing diseases. Her drive and compassion forged on the front lines. I was a counselor in the Navy and I saw a lot of people suffering from PTSD. And she wanted to make a real difference. So I came back to graduate school in order to work on PTSD. Every day I come into the um, building and I'm walking right past the veterans emergency room where there's a whole line of veterans that are sitting there and often I wanted to go up to one of them that seemed to have, be having a really kind of a difficult time and tell them, listen, right behind you is a building full of research scientists here at Vanderbilt who are really working just night and day to make a difference um, and there will be a breakthrough, just hang on. Now Kavanagh and fellow Vanderbilt student scientists are sharing that message of hope. People aren't reading scientific journals, um, but people are on Facebook and people are on Twitter. Encouraging fellow researchers around the world to share their stories in a special social media campaign. I will not give up until there is a cure for PTSD. I will not give up until there is a cure for Alzheimer's disease. I will not give up until there is a cure for Parkinson's disease spreading a vital message that these are your new scientists, these are your future um, cures coming forward, and these are the people that are not going to give up on you no matter what the funding situation is. How are patients reacting? We get just a wave of support from people who have set up groups supporting children with a childhood cancer or veterans groups for people suffering with PTSD. It reminds me of why I need to do this and it helps me work another 15-hour um, day or push through um, a difficult part in the research. I think science is very personal and um, if you are not passionate, you are not a scientist. These scientists and many others making a bold promise. I will not give up. I will not give up. I will not give up. You can follow this campaign and share your own story on wewillnotgiveup.org and facebook.com slash wewillnotgiveup.org. Okay, this guy is just an idiot, but how do you find your way in the dark without running into walls? A Vandy researcher is using virtual reality for answers. Study participants followed a virtual path they navigated their way back in the dark using a neural network in their brain called grid cells. This is the first time that anybody's shown any behavioral effects, that, uh, that, a, that a person's actual performance in a task, the way they act and behave, uh, is predictable by properties of grid cells. Read more here or go to our news page and search McNamara and grid cells. Here's something making us smile. For the second straight year, Vanderbilt is named the home of the happiest college students by the Princeton Review. See what makes Vanderbilt such a happy place by following hashtag MyVanderbilt.